Hi, I'm Sam, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my PLC 95 pattern webbing. Now I've taken this on two tours in 2003 and 2005, and then subsequent tours after that you had Osprey body armor, so you didn't really need to take your webbing, but this is deployed on countless, hundreds of exercises and on your annual um, fitness tests and on the ranges, etc. So I just thought I'd take you through how I set my webbing up. Now, this is quite old school, this webbing is, and you can get much newer webbing, but I've set this up for me now and I, I wouldn't change it whatsoever. I'm not even interested in buying any other webbing. So quickly take you through it, how I set it up. So essentially, on the front, I've got my two ammo pouches there. And on the other side, the two ammo pouches there. That's where your magazines are gonna go. And in this one, if you get uh, any smoke or fuss or anything like that, they can go in these there. Or if you have any extra magazines, they can go in there as well. Whipping it round. From the back then, I've got managed to fit four pouches on here. One, two, three, and this is the only thing I've bought for it, is an extra pouch here. I've also, what I've done, is bungee cord it all together. So when it's all bungee together, and you're running around, and you're getting from the prone position up, into the standing position it doesn't all flap about everywhere and when you're running it stays with your body and it all moves together now what you will see is that some of the clasps are actually broken which is no big deal to be honest because the bungee cord here i can just fit it right through the bungee cord and there's velcro as well right there that you can put on. But what they do say is in night time, don't use your Velcro because it can give you position away when you're opening any of the flaps on your actual webbing. So in the night, what I do is just put the uh, other Velcro flap over and then this just sits on quite snug anyway because of the way I've packed it. Okay, what also I got for this as well was a kind of nice little belt for it. That's a, a little bit thicker than the normal standard belt that we used to get issued. And that really keeps um, me comfy as well when, when you're moving from the prone, everything keeps everything together into the standing position. Right, moving into what we've got in the actual pouches themselves. So this sample pouch here, I've got my Oakley gloves. These are awesome. They were also issued as well. This one, okay, I've got um, standard ear defense. Pretty decent, to be honest with you. Just go in your ears and they'll come with a little bit of cord. Pretty good, these. And then, because I was on the RFT the other week, I just got a little bit of weight in there as well from when I was on the RFT to bring the webbing up to standard weight. But of course, when you go on exercise and stuff, you won't be taking this. Right, let's have a look in this utility pouch. So in this one, I've got my standard weapon cleaning kit with all my rags, oil, brush, pipe cleaners and so on as well in there. Move that out of the way. And then what I've got is rations and my metal mug. So what have we got here? Peanut butter. Biscuit browns to plug you up. Sesame seed bar and coffee. Whitener. 
and some tropical fruit mix as well. So that'll fit nicely in here, and that's just something good to have in the mornings. And then what I'll do once I've had these in the morning, I will um, repack it straight away. There's my mug. Drop that back in there quickly. Right, next pouch. A little red torch, pretty decent. That thing is, try not to use white light when you're out on exercise and on ops. Got my compass and I made, from, um, from my roll mat, I made a little cover for it here. Nice and easy, it's a bit of black tape, a little bit of roll mat, and then stop it from breaking. So that can go in there, pretty decent. If you can get it in, there you go. What else? Siloom. One way round. Siloom. I've got um so this was this, this this is just a bit of nostalgia. So this is from something like 2003 from an MRE meal ready to eat. Um, that, I, that I swapped with one of the Americans out there, but we get them in our ration packs now anyway. What else is in it? Oh, and um, get that off there. Gotta have this, and also my waterproof map case as well. It's a lot in that one, isn't there? Oh, you are. Mine tape. Next one. I think this might be a water bottle. No. Okay. First aid kit. So let's have a look in here. I might have used some of this actually. So in here, just some tablets. But what I do with the tablets in this, I'll put um, a load of cotton wool and stuff on there to stop them rattling around. There's nothing worse than noisy webbing and things rattling around. And then the rest of the stuff is things like plasters, non-absorbent dressing, and moist cleansing tissue. <laughs> so that goes in my first aid kit. Of course, you can put loads of other stuff in the first aid kit as well. Uh, what's this? Oh, and another little torch. But there's lots of things you can put, you can put in your first aid kit. You can just uh, make it up yourself. So much stuff. Take this out. Obviously, you've got to wear the hat when it's red hot. So always take a little hat with me just in case. Keep the sun off my fair skin. String. Can't have too much string. Tissues. And um, a knife with a sharpener as well pretty decent so yeah so and i just used um to keep this in i just used one of the old uh washing machine nets from there so there's a knife here a webley knife is really good and sharp anyway and then you've also got your um little sharpener here as well that you can use to sharpen it with oh I've had this absolutely years, the sharpener and this knife, and it is uh, really, really good. <sighs> Standard housewife here. So you've got your um, needle, needles, and your thread that use loads of that um little thimble so i always prick myself with it and um some safety pins and these are really good these are some mini scissors 
they're really good just to cut the end off as well. They're really good mini scissors. So much stuff, man. You don't need to carry all this stuff. Um, so you need things like, so these are commander's cards. So you'll have all different things on there. You've got your range card, um, add your stag list, little notes card, your mistap report, 10 liner EOD report. That's what you use. Close to air support for things like e -cases. And then we're back to the beginning. But these are something that are really good to have if you can get hold of. So if you are on ops and you're on patrol and you come across anything, you can refer to these if you can't remember what order to send the report back over the radio. And then we have got the survival tin. This is going to be a separate video that I'm going to do with how to uh, make up a survival tip. Then we move on to my water bottle. Standard issue. When you put your water bottle away after exercise, ops, anything like that, always make sure it's empty so you're not drinking stagnant water afterwards. Now, we're back on to the very last ammo pouches. In this one, weapon sling. So that'll be coming out of there anyway when I have my weapon. So then your magazines will go in there. And in this one here, it's just a little bit more weight for the RFT that I did. But that's it, that all goes in. That's the only thing that goes in these ammo pouches. It's just my weapon set. So, that is how I do my webbing. Of course, other people will do it differently and they'll have their own ideas on how they want to do their webbing. But this is how I do mine. It works for me and hopefully it's given you some ideas on what you can put in your webbing. If you do have any questions, please just ask. Take care, bye.